The relationship between residents of Niger Delta and the Shell Petroleum Development Company continues to be a bitter one. Residents blame the company of what they term as age-long exploitation, which has degraded the environment. Shell was forced to halt operations in the area and vandals descended on the abandoned installations, worsening the already bad effects on the environment. Shell can never come back again to control the land. Coming back again to our land to share money, to chiefs and tell towns to cause confusion, to cause more debt and divide the people. That cannot work and it will not work. The launch of a cleanup exercise in June last year by the Nigerian government are yet to be implemented. Hence the protests by the residents of Ogoni land. We are reaching to them, we are reaching to their channel of demand. And as we told them, we are going back, the papers were presented to the management, and the management of the Dr. Makati Bar was a listening one. As the leader said, all the demands were basically looked into, analyzed, and we'll get back to the leaders as soon as possible. Although Shell has paid $70 billion out of their agreed $1 billion in compensation, only $10 million has since been released to the 15,000 targeted people. Thirteen years since the execution of author and civil rights activist Ken Sarowiwa, together with eight of his colleagues, Niger Delta is still a hot issue of oil explorers as locals demand for rights and better amenities in return for the resources. Beryl Oro, CGTN.